Uh, so you know when you arrive to a hotel like at night in the dark and you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning and then you can like take in the view. This is basically that moment and I'm gonna share it with you guys. Chickens over there, which woke me up this morning. I'm in Cappadocia in Turkey, the land of fairy chimneys and cave dwellings. I'm hoping to get some clear skies so I can do a bit of astrophotography here, but the weather's not so good today, it's a little bit cloudy. But I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys how I pack my bags. So I've basically got an F stop tilopa. This is like my main camera bag. I absolutely love this bag. It's so versatile. You've probably seen it in all my vlogs and I took it to the Dolomite. This is a 10 bus solstice. It's also a camera bag, but I used this for the cabin baggage. So I had 15 kilos to go under the plane, eight kilos to go in the cabin. But that's, that's definitely not eight kilos. That's about 10, 11 kilos. But they never weigh the cabin baggage, so I kind of risked it. And if they did, like if I saw them like weighing the bags, I probably would have took a few lenses out and just chucked them in the pockets. And I've also got this Peak Design clip. And you can basically clip your camera onto that. So I would have just put that on like my belt and just hung a camera and a lens, probably my heaviest lens, the Sigma 14mm. And then I would have just hang that from my belt and then hopefully that would have brought the bag under eight kilos anyway. But they, they never weigh it, I got away with it. Now with the F-stop bags, they come with what they call ICUs, internal compartment units. And these are basically like large packing cubes with dividers for your camera gear and you can choose which size you want. I use a large slope ICU. And what I did, I basically took it out of the F-stop bag and put it inside the Temba solstice bag. So this packing cube you see here was taken out of the f-stop that came with the f-stop bag when I bought it. And then I took all my camera gear onto the plane because obviously this is like the expensive heavy stuff and you don't want to put glass under the plane in case it breaks. So I wanted to take all that on the plane with me. Normally the Temba solstice bag has like its own like Velcro dividers but I just ripped all those out so I could put the uh, Put the thing in. Hello, this bag is perfectly sized for sort of airplane cabins, and you can get a ton of stuff in here. Like, I've got so much of my, all my camera gear in here, my laptop, and a few other bits and bobs. And then inside the F stop bag, let me show you. This also opens like from the back, and then inside here. Basically got a lot of my clothes, these are in like packing cubes. I brought a gimbal with me, a stabilizer. Probably do some cool time lapses and hyper lapses with that. Trousers, down jacket, some more packing cubes. Packing cubes just make your life so much easier. And then I've also got oh, boom! The Benro FTA. 28C with a V1 head. This is like such an awesome size. I mean, it's made for travel, so it fits nicely inside the bag. And then for my vlogging camera, my second camera, go one of these bad boys. The Benro Carbon Fiber Slim. This thing is it's so tiny, it's so light. It weighs a kilo, it's carbon fiber. It's got a decent little head on it. Super impressed by this little thing. I mean, it's perfect for the vlog camera and you know, do a couple of time lapses. The legs spread out as well if you need extra stability. There's a little hook. You hang a bag, it feels pretty stable. I mean, it works well for mirrorless cameras, bigger DSLRs, like full frame DSLRs. You're probably be pushing it a little bit, but when you hang a bag, it's a lot more stable. And for the price and the size and the weight, this thing is insane. Also guys, I'm here for three weeks, but there's no point bringing like three weeks worth of clothes because I need more baggage. So what I've done, I've got this 
So I've got this travel wash and then I'm using just like and then with this dry sack I can just put all my dirty washing in there. Use the travel wash, put some hot water in there, let it soak, give it a little shake, and then dry the clothes out on the balcony or something, and then woo, good to go. Now oh, one more thing. So um rather than bring loads of separate chargers, I always bring this anchor, this anchor four port USB hub. That way I can just charge all my stuff using just one plug. Obviously saves a lot of space, make things a lot easier. Links in the description as usual. I think that just about covers it. I'm gonna head out. The weather's not that great, so I'm gonna use it as like a scouting day and I'm gonna go and try and find some Milky Way spots for, for later on this morning. Super excited guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't wanna miss the vlogs from Turkey. And if you're going out to enjoy the night sky anytime soon, I wish you good luck and clear skies.